Hi, my name is Anne, and I will be guiding you through a mindfulness meditation. And we're going to begin, first you want to really get any knots in your body out, relaxing your shoulders, your arms, your neck, whatever, and even your hips. So if you want to, you can also just stretch, do some little stretches, reaching your arms up, just things so that you can be comfortable in your seat. If you need to, you can, you can get up, you can stretch a little bit upward, whatever you need to do. But the whole idea of meditation is so that you are really comfortable in your seat, that you don't have to move and you don't have to shift and you don't have to, so that your body feels good sitting because we are going to be sitting for a while. And that is the key to really a great meditation is that you feel comfortable in your body and you feel comfortable in your, what we call your seat. So very, very important. First thing always, are you comfortable where you are? If you need to, you can prop pillows up behind your back as long as the spine remains nice and straight. If you have, uh, you can put a little pillow in your lumbar region, like your lower back region, whatever you need to do to prop your spine up. I like to sit to the front of the chair so that I really have awareness of my spine and I have to use my muscles in my spine because you want to feel alive when you're doing meditation. It's not that you're going to into like a spaciness. Meditation has nothing to do with that. There's no such thing as going into feeling spacey. You want to feel very in the moment very present. So that's not spaciness. That's you want to think of a of a of a line, right? And the furthest line of the dullness would be spaciness, right? You're just not paying attention. It's just whatever space. And then the other side is, you know, agitated, like too too much uh, open eyes and too way too open and 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 too tense. So we want to bring it to the center here. We want to be just incredibly present, relaxed, but we're kind of at the center of that line and we're drawing inward. At the center of that line, we're, draw we're going inward. So the more you can go inward, the better it's going to be. And exhalations kind of drop you into going inward. When you inhale, you kind of expanse outward, and then when you exhale, you are drawn inward because you have to draw your abdominals in slightly to, uh, to do an exhalation. It's just a slight movement inward. So as we do this, we're going to really focus on our breathing. And we're gonna feel our breath as the 3D image of the lungs of where they are inside the rib cage. So your lungs are really large. They start up here, right up underneath the collarbone. They're right over here. And then they're at the very base of the rib cage here. So, and then they expand outward. So you want to feel the breath in the sides of the ribs, the back of the body, like we do in Pilates. And even in the front of the rib cage, you want to feel it from high to low. You want to feel the expanse and 3D image of the lungs how they open up the rib cage, they open up the slats of the ribs. On the inhalation, on the exhalation, they close and squeeze the rib cage gently. So it's this movement of up and down, and that's your diaphragm, moves up and down. Your abs push out on the inhalation because it has to make room for the diaphragm to lift up so your internal organs push forward and that's why the inhalation moves forward but it really moves up it's just that the organs move forward but the breath moves up and down so it's this pumping action and you want to feel it even in the backs of the ribs so we're going to take time first before our meditation we take our time to really feeling our lungs and our lung capacity and you don't do it to the point where you're 
where you're gonna pass out, obviously. You do it very gently to feel different parts of the lungs that you never really felt before. So, we're gonna start with a little pranayama, which are breathing exercises in yoga. So, you're gonna inhale into your belly and you're gonna push your belly out on the inhale. And then on the exhale, you're going to very slowly draw your belly in. It's not that you're squeezing in, it's just the exhale is just moving into the body, exhaling all the air out, pushing the air, expelling it out. And then inhaling, bringing the breath into the belly, and then exhaling, bringing it back in. And you can feel how the ribs pop out and then they move down and in. So there's this awareness even in the back of the body too. You can feel the rise of the back of the spine. You can feel the 3D image of the lungs. And then we're gonna bring it into the lower ribs. We're gonna emphasize there a little bit more. So we're gonna bring the belly out. And then we're gonna bring it under the, the lower ribs, puffing them out. And then we're gonna exhale lower ribs and belly. Sitting into our seat, really nice and relaxed. Inhale, belly, lower ribs and then exhale, lower ribs and belly. So you're closing and then releasing down. Inhale and exhale. And you can kind of feel how, you can have, relax your arms on the, on the chair and you can feel this kind of motion of what happens to our anatomy as we breathe. The bones, the skeletal bone, the bones of the body, the skeleton, is maneuvered from the breathing. And then we're gonna bring our breath belly, lower lungs, and then you're gonna bring it all the way up underneath the collarbone, as high as you can bring that breath. And then you're gonna exhale from the collarbone to the lower ribs and then into the belly. All the air out until you can't take any more air. Inhale, belly lower ribs, collarbone, exhale, collarbone, lower ribs, and then the belly dissolving in. Getting all the air out before you take an inhalation again. And then exhaling slowly and into your seat. Really feeling very grounded in your feet and in your pelvis when you're sitting in the chair. And again, if you have something behind you to prop you up, it will help you not feel strain in your lower back. So having your hands relax on your legs, we're going to start, we're gonna just breathe naturally. Whatever your breathing is, just the natural rhythm of the breath, okay? So don't try to control it, just let it flow, let it happen. And we're gonna, we're gonna use this flow of the breath as our awareness. As we go into the mind, thoughts will come into our mind. It's, you can't get rid of thoughts. No matter how, how hard you try to get rid of a thought, you can't. So thoughts are coming into our mind constantly. And what we're doing in meditation is learning how to control and focus on thoughts that really we need to think about. But there's so much garbage coming in, so many things that we don't need to think about. You know, things like worry, and those are not present moment things. So what we want to do is, if you have a thought come into your mind, you just label it thought and you bring it back to the breathing, to the flow of the breath. The problem is with thoughts is we have a thought, say for example, we're hungry and you say, I'm hungry. You kind of say it to yourself and you know that thought is there. And then you say, you tack on, what am I gonna make? What am I gonna eat? And then it's thought after thought after thought after thought. And it becomes this whole connective um, containment. And so if the thought comes in, I'm hungry, you go back to the breath. You don't attach another thought, right? I have to make this phone call. You don't, you go back to the breath. You don't allow it to kind of be like, hey, hey, you have to do this. 
you say to yourself, you bring yourself back to the breath. I'm going to bring myself back to the breath. You feel the breath, you sense the breath, and you allow the thought to be there, it's fine. But you don't act on the thought, you don't even bring your mind into acting on the thought to bring it to another thought. You just stay with the breath. So it's this, it's kind of like your home plate. You know, this happens, you bring it back to the breath. This comes in, you bring it back to the breath. This comes in, you bring it back to the breath. And that is our focus point. You always bring it home to the breath. And the breath is the most important part of the meditation. Keeping the spine straight, feeling your seat, and breathing, natural breathing. And what this teaches us is so that we, don't, we can detach from thoughts that we don't need or that are not serving us. So as you breathe, it's this freedom just to be and feel the body and just be in the present moment. And it's so important to do. So again, the most important thing is your seat. Get nice and comfortable in your seat. We're gonna take some nice long inhalations and exhalations, three of them always to bring you back into kind of understanding where your breath is. So you're gonna inhale and then exhale, inhale and exhale. And you can do this with your eyes closed. And one last inhalation and exhalation, and then you're gonna actually open your eyes, but not fully, just a little bit, so that you can, you know that you're you, where you are. It's not that you're in this kind of situation where you could just go to sleep, right? So the reason why we keep our eyes open is to be very much in the present moment. And what you're going to do is your gaze is gonna kind of go down the bridge of the nose a little bit, and then it's to the periphery of your vision, it's, there's no focal point, I'm not staring at something. It's just the periphery of my vision and I'm awake and I'm seated. So we'll begin our meditation. I have these little tinctures, which are little bells and I'll start it. We're just going to be focusing on the breath and not paying attention to thoughts. If they come into our mind, you just label it a generic thought and you go back to the breath. So here we go. Good. So just bringing us into the present moment, hands on your legs, buttocks into the seat, feet. You can really feel yourself attached to the floor, your feet on the floor. And here we go, open the eyes gently, a little open gaze, relaxed eyes, staring down the bridge of the nose, but keeping the periphery of the vision, connected into the room, a smile on your face. If a thought comes to mind, bring your attention back to your breathing, both your inhalations and your exhalations and feeling your breath in your body. Don't control it, just be a witness to your breath. Just being a witness to the breathing helps you feel incredibly present with each inhalation and each exhalation. Detach from your thoughts. Don't push them away, just detach and learn where your attention goes. Bring it into the breathing, feeling, 
feeling your lungs, feeling your rib cage, feeling your breath in your body, feeling alive. If there are outside distractions, you bring yourself back to the breathing. If you feel like you need to scratch yourself or move a certain way, bring yourself back to the breath. Stay with the present moment with each inhalation and exhalation. Keep your head lifted, your chin relaxed, your shoulders open. Shoulders moved back so the chest can open. And you can really feel your breath. Again, there's no force of the breath. It's just like you're a witness, witnessing how the breath moves. So being aware of stillness, yet movement, movement of the breath. The breath lifts the body and then releases the body, releases the spine on the exhalation, lifts the body. Maybe feel the breath at the very top of the ribs, shoulders, back. Closing the eyes completely and then gently opening them and coming back into the room. So you're breathing, just detaching from the thoughts, not pushing them away, just detaching from them, starts to build your attention patterns. And you, you start to have better attention patterns when you start to do just mindfulness meditation, just being aware and just being aware of the breath. And don't say, oh, I'm not that good at this, I can't do it. It's not so hard just sitting there and breathing. The mind pulls us away. So once you start to understand how you can control the focus, you don't judge it. You never judge the meditation. So the thought maybe drags you away. As long as you can harness yourself and bring yourself back to the breath, it's a learning process. And you have to do this as a process. It can't just be done once. You have to do this as a practice. And practice does make perfect, right? Maybe not perfect, but practice makes you better at your focus. It makes you move into a better placement of your focus. And we all need to be very focused now, on focus on what serves us and what doesn't serve us. 
So this mindfulness meditation just really brings you so into the moment and makes you aware of conversations with people. It makes you a better listener. It makes you be more present to hold space for people. And it makes you more calm, more relaxed. So I hope this helped you. And try to practice this. You can do it for three minutes. You can do it for two minutes a day. You can do it before you go to sleep. The problem is before you go to sleep, you can, you're going to probably go into sleep patterns. So it's good to, to practice this in the day where you're very present and awake. And then you can actually do this even lying on your back before you go to sleep. And you can feel your body exhale. When you exhale, you can feel it release into the mattress. You can feel as you inhale, it kind of moves up and the mattress pushes you up. And as you exhale, you just go deeper and deeper into the mattress, right? So you can do this to actually enhance your sleep patterns too, which we all need to do. You should be really working on getting great sleep at this time also. It's really great for your immune system and it really helps you cope with stress. So sleeping patterns, really coming, uh, going to sleep at the right at the time you normally do and waking up keeping patterns like that and creating a pattern of meditation daily in the morning and then at night to help you maybe go to sleep so I hope that this serves you and you can utilize this and work with it daily and it helps you namaste thank you